welcome all. About four weeks ago, uh, I put out a, a video where I sort of uh, hypothesised that uh, the Rode Wireless Go units uh, would uh, transmit a 32-bit signal. There was a little bit of doubt and contention about that um, because uh, there's very little information available with the uh, Wireless Go's as to what they actually uh, do or how they operate. And there's certainly a digital signal in between the uh, analog input and the analog output. Uh, but what happens to the signal uh, in between is sort of uh, not really known. So I thought I'd actually try and do a bit of a more rigorous test of uh, both my VideoMic uh, Pro Plus and the VideoMic NTG uh, using uh, the wireless go units transmitting into the Zoom F6 to see exactly what sort of output I'm getting and, and is it possible that I'm getting a 32-bit uh, float uh, audio recording using the wireless go units. Now, first off, I don't really have a very good audio um, room where I can do uh, a rigorous testing without background noises and so forth. So I really had to uh, just do with my study uh, where I've got uh, a computer with a laptop that makes fan noise pretty much all the time and uh, using the computer speakers that I've got there uh, so it's not really a, a very scientific test that I did, but I think it's sufficient enough to uh, uh, validate what I've uh, discovered and uh, hopefully um, it uh, will stand up in case somebody actually does a proper test with it, somebody who's got far more uh, extensive audio experience and the facilities to do that. And it would be good if somebody did actually try to copy what I've done and uh, either uh, refute or uh, validate what I've found. So what I've actually done is my first thing that I had to do was find a audio uh, source uh, that was a consistent uh, sound um, that repeated itself or was able to be repeated um, and then adjusted so that I could make uh, a, a loud sound going all the way down to almost inaudible. I didn't want to actually uh, be moving the uh, microphones away from a single source and I didn't want to use music which is uh, so highly variable. Um, the problem with moving the uh, microphones and so on, there's echoes and all sorts of stuff occurs because I'd have to go down a hallway and I didn't want to do that. So uh, after a lot of pondering, um, I had a bit of an, an epiphany and uh, realized that maybe if I can find a uh, audio recording of Big Ben tolling, that might be the ideal uh, sound source uh, for the testing. And as it happens, Parliament UK um, does have in fact a uh, audio recordings of Big Ben tolling and I downloaded a uh, one minute recording uh, of that, uh, which had uh, around about 12 uh, tolls uh, in there, all sounding the same, uh, same levels, etc. And I put that into uh, Fairlight, chopped it up into the 12 individual uh, sound sources. And then starting with the first one, I elevated the, uh, the dB to uh, maximum. Um, and then at four uh, dB increments, reduced the levels all the way down to whatever minus level it went to with the 12th uh, signal. So I had basically a uh, uh, Big Ben tolling audio that went from very loud to uh, almost inaudible. And it was perfect for what I wanted. Um, I put that then into the computer and I set up the uh, cameras with the microphones about three metres away from the uh, computer and the speakers themselves were uh, a bit more than 90 degrees uh, facing away from the cameras so the sort of audio coming in from one side and the cameras were uh, on the other side uh, pointing towards the uh, empty air I guess. And so I did a recording uh, one at a time with the cameras, so I did uh, one recording uh, with a uh, splitter so that uh, the microphone took the uh, sounds into the camera itself as a 24-bit, and then uh, the, the other part of the splitter went to the wireless go unit, transmitting to the Zoom F6, with the F6 set to a 32-bit float. So after I did that, um, I had recordings both on the camera 24-bit plus uh, what I was hoping to be 32-bit in the Zoom F6. Now to provide a, uh, uh, I guess a, uh, a better comparison, I then took the microphones and connected them directly to the Zoom F6, uh, one at a time and recorded uh, the same um, audio uh, again at both 32-bit into the Zoom F6 and 24-bit into the Zoom F6. Um, so therefore I had about six, I think it was six uh, independent recordings, um, not counting the ones in the camera. Uh, so that made it eight altogether, but six out of the uh, Zoom. And so when I uh, put those into uh, Fairlight, I once again chopped the uh, independent uh, sounds into 12 uh, separate sections. And then what I did, and I, this is where I don't know whether I've done the right thing or the wrong thing, and when I've done it, whether I've done it uh, in the right way. But anyway, uh, once I had the uh, individual 12 uh, tolls uh, separated, 
I then uh, used the uh, normalize uh, method, normalized to minus nine dB, I think it was, um, and independent, which meant that uh, each of the uh, tolls were elevated, uh, raised in the audio level to match the first one, which was the loudest. And when I did that, uh, with those that were uh, recording or showing up in uh, Fairlight as 32-bit, um, they actually all come up level at 32-bit. Um, uh, as far as the waveform uh, went, went, they were all sort of equal. With the 24-bit uh, audios, they weren't. And so when I listened to them um, through headphones, um, the 24-bit ones faded off very quickly and became noisy uh, very fast. I think after about the third or fourth toll, um, they were pretty much rubbish. So it showed that... Uh, in my view anyway, that well, the 24-bit sound uh, that were coming through just didn't work all that well at all. Um, when I did the 32-bit ones, and did this, uh, obviously normalizing the same way, I found that uh, the ones that uh, came from the Wireless Go and the ones that were directly in the uh, Zoom F6 were almost identical. Um, there was very difficult to separate uh, the, uh, the differences between the two. If you mixed them up, you wouldn't know which was which. And the surprising thing was is that uh, when I was listening to them, uh, they were all almost identical uh, as far as the audio uh, quality goes and everything else. But uh, because of the, the conditions of the room, uh, after about, I think it was the sixth uh, toll, you could start hearing the computer uh, fans going and uh, towards the end, you could still hear the, uh, the toll quite clearly. But then there was also very loud uh, computer fan noise as well as bird sounds outside and uh, whatnot. So that kind of spoiled the experiment somewhat, but uh, what I did find from that was that I really do believe that the wireless Go units are able to transmit a 32-bit uh, signal, or basically not a 32-bit signal, but a pure analog signal, um, same as an XLR mic might or the uh, Video Mic Pro Plus. It just uh, sends out an audio, uh, analog signal. So the Rode, or the, so the Zoom F6, is able to uh, record those sort of audio signals as a 32-bit float. Um, if it's not doing that, uh, that I don't know why I'm able to get such a good uh, elevation of sound. I mean, it, it can't just be the fact that the uh, Zoom F6 has got better preamps. Um, the difference is just so uh, significant that uh, I actually do believe that I'm getting a 32-bit signal. But if it's not, uh, it doesn't really matter because the end result is that the sound quality that you get from an on-camera microphone transmitting through the wireless go into a Zoom F6. Even if the uh, audio levels are very low, you can boost them up and get a uh, very good uh, uh, response. But also by doing that, if you're outdoors somewhere and uh, there's lots of background noise and so on going on, well, you're obviously gonna boost those up as well. But uh, it's quite surprising how uh, clear the uh, signal is. It's not uh, microphone noise and so on or any uh, electronic noise being amplified as far as I can tell. Um, so, that gives uh, people an idea who, uh, who might be using the wireless go units and uh, considering doing, say, 32-bit float with an external recorder. Uh, and uh, I think it'll work for you. Um, I'd like to be able to uh, see somebody else do some uh, more comprehensive testing, somebody who actually knows really what they're doing. Um, but I'm quite happy with uh, the results at the moment. I don't think uh, that I've gone too far off the mark um, with uh, what the testing that I've done. And I know now that uh, anything I record from these, uh, either microphone, the NTG, or the uh, Pro Plus into a Zoom F6 uh, wirelessly is gonna give me very, very good audio quality, uh, much better than what goes into the camera. Uh, but at least with the in-camera sound going through the XLR port, I've got something as a backup in case anything goes wrong. So uh, I think it works out quite well uh, either way. So that's really all I've got to say at the moment. Um, Got any questions, so if I've missed any details and so on, just please ask. Um, so, cheers.